I want to introduce um, another very uh, valuable member of the Bluegrass Institute team. Before I do that, I want to say the young Republicans are auctioning off a signed baseball by Jim Bunning. Have you ever heard of him? And uh, he's a Hall of Famer and a Kentucky Senator, so make sure you help them out. But uh, joining... Uh, joining us here on the platform is Kelly Smith. She is the Director of Development for the Bluegrass Institute, and I consider her a very important person because she raises the money, and if she doesn't do that, I don't get paid. Oh, that's that. Anybody else relate to that? All right. Anyhow, Kelly Smith has a couple of announcements. Let's welcome her warmly. So if anyone needs drinks or water, um, just go through the gate right over here. The accession area is open, so please feel free to, to get something to eat. You can also go through these gates and turn left into the stadium, and those that's where all the restrooms are. So uh, restrooms, food, I think I have that covered. And uh, just to let you know, we're starting the government motors car bashing. The first honorary bashing is going to be done by uh, Gatewood Gelbreth and Kelly Cobb, who spoke um, initially. So if anybody wants to watch the initial car bashing, that's about to happen. And again, food in the concession area. We will be having music later on. Um, unfortunately, it'll be during the lulls in the speakers. Um, so as soon as um, we have some time, uh, the band will start playing as well. So I think that's it. Yes, the band is the Sundown Service. They're over in the awning, too. Thanks. Very good. Well, we're right on schedule. You know, uh, the judge was talking about politicians who promise one thing during a campaign and, and do something different once they're elected. It reminded me of the story of the female senator who was walking on the street one day when she's tragically hit by a truck and she dies. Her soul arrives in heaven and she's met by St. Peter at the entrance. Welcome to heaven, said St. Peter. Before you settle in, it seems that there's a problem. We seldom see a high official around these parts, so we're not sure what to do with you. No problem, just let me in, says the senator. Well, I'd like to, but I have orders from higher up. What we'll have to do is let you spend one day in hell and one in heaven. And then you can choose where you want to spend eternity. Really, I've made up my mind. She said, I want to be in heaven. I'm sorry, but we have our rules, he said. And with that, St. Peter escorts her down the elevator. And she goes down, down, down to hell. The doors open. She finds herself in the middle of a green golf course. In the distance is a club. And standing in front of it are all of her friends and other politicians who had worked with her. Everyone is happy and in their evening dress. They run to greet her, hug her, and reminisce about the good times they had while getting rich at the expense of the constituents they serve. They play the friendly game of golf and then dine on lobster and caviar and present is the devil who's a really friendly guy who has a good time dancing and telling jokes. They're having such a good time that before she realizes it, it's time to go. Everyone gives her a big hug and waves while the elevator rises and the elevator goes up and up and up and the door reopens to heaven where Peter is waiting for her. Now it's time to visit heaven, he says. So the next 24 hours pass. The senator joins a group of contented souls moving from cloud to cloud, pray, playing their harps and singing. Singing. They have a good time, and before she realizes it, the 24 hours is up, and another in heaven. Another day, and their day in heaven is over. Well, then you'll spend a day in hell. You'll have to go back down to hell, she said. Uh, or, well, she said, wait a minute. She said, well, she said, I've, I've seen heaven and hell, and St. Peter asked her, said, where, where do you want to spend eternity? And she says, well, I, I would never have said it. I mean, heaven has been delightful, but I think I'd be better off in hell. 
So St. Peter escorts her to the elevator and down, down, down she goes. And now the elevator door opens and she's in the middle of a barren land covered with waste and garbage. She sees all her friends dressed in rags, picking up the trash and putting it in black bags. And the devil comes over to her and lays his arm on her neck. I don't understand, says the senator. Yesterday I was here and there was a golf course and a club and we ate lobster and caviar and danced and had a great time. Now there's a wasteland full of garbage and my friends look miserable and the devil looks at her and smiles and says, yesterday we were campaigning. Today you voted for us. Brother Joe, I apologize. I told that right before Brother Joe Adams is going to speak.